Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadir Abir and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to visualize your river stream order using ArcGIS. So if you are watching my video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. So you can see here, I have these two files here. One is a uh, raster file of my area, which is a TEF file format. And another one is a shape file of my study area. This is a shape file of my study area. And if you don't know how to find this data, check my description box or cards for um, a video link. Now, uh, what you have to do is go to geoprocessing and go to environments. And under workspace, select your scratch workspace as your uh, located folder where you want to save your work. Like uh, this is my geo database for this work and next go to raster analysis and uh, select uh, cell size as your same as layer n25 as this is ok click ok and the next thing is i am going to extract my study area from this area so to do this uh, go to art toolbox and go to station analysis tools and under extraction select extract by mask and input raster here as your tif file and input raster or data mask data and raster or feature mask data as your uh, shape file as this is my shape file and click ok so as you can see here my study area has been extracted from this area and you can uh, zoom to layer so this is my study area and you can also uncheck it and the next thing i'm going to do is fill now we are going to use fill tool from hydrology and uh, fill tool from hydrology to reduce any small imperfection from our raster file so uh, just uh, double click here fill and input surface raster as your uh, extract file here and uh, you can also give it a name and click ok so our fill file has has created so and the next thing is going to i'm going to use the uh, flow direction tool and uh, flow direction tool uh, used to create downslope neighborhood so input surface raster as your field file here and uh, click ok and so this is our flow direction raster and the next thing is we are going to need a uh, flow accumulation and input your flow direction raster here this is a flow direction and uh, click ok so after the flow accumulation raster has created uh, just right click here and go to properties and uh, go to symbology and in here just uh, go to classified and uh, select classify and set classes as 2 and uh, set your first break value as 500 and this is uh, up to your study area uh, the method of your study depends on it so click ok and next mm, double click here and select this 0 to 500 value as no color and this next as any color you want just red or green Okay, so uncheck it and you can see our flow accumulation. We can now visualize it more properly. So, the next thing is we're going to need a map algebra, and you can find it right here map algebra and put a click raster calculator. And in here, uh, write a map. Uh, map algebra expression just like flow accumulation is greater than 500 as you selected this value okay okay so here is our raster calculator and uh, just select your zero value and uh, select your zero value as no color and also you can uh, change this one value as uh, any color you like and the next thing is go to our toolbox again and uh, under hydrology select stream order and your and input your stream raster here that is a raster calculator file 
so and uh, you can see you have to input a flow direction raster here and input flow direction raster and click ok so here you can see our stream order has created and this is a raster file and we have to convert it into a vector file so to convert it go to arc toolbox again and uh, select stream to feature and in input stream raster as your uh, as this file stream raster and input again input flow direction raster and click ok so you can see here this file has converted into um, vector file that was previously a raster file format so this our so this is our uh, vector file format we zoom to layer and we have to uh, and if you go click here and uh, open attribute table you can see here in grid code in this uh, one two three and uh, this all so these uh, these values are in here and these uh, these are separated in here so we have to do is now we have to dissolve all this line together to create a single line form file so uh, let's go to geoprocessing and uh, select dissolve and uh, input features as your this file stream to features and select grid code as grid code is the classification value of this file and so click ok and here you can see if you go to attribute table you can see this all grid code has been uh, dissolve together and make a single line and uh, let's go to properties and go to symbology check all these files here so that's how you can visualize reverse stream order comment below to let me know if this video helps you or you are facing any problems also give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more free tutorial videos thank you